Hi, I'm Ian Mega here from ID Tech X, reporting live at the uh, ID Tech X show 2018 in Santa Clara. I'm here with uh, John Boltus from Shell Dell Flexible Technologies. John, would you like to take a few minutes to talk about your company and the products you've got on show today? Thank you, Ian. Thank you for the opportunity to talk a little today. First, let's talk a little bit about us transitioning. So recently, um, Multech was acquired by a company called DSBJ, um, and with that transition, we went back to being uh, Shell Doll Flexible Technologies. Why did we go back to that name? Because it, it was the name that actually created the industry of flexible electronics. A long history, 60 years, created a lot of the categories that exist today, so we thought it was extremely important for them to go back. What is old is now what's new. But with that, we're developing a lot of really cool, innovative technology. So we're taking technology that exists, such as capacitive sensors, which is a seat sensor right here, and as we transition to seat sensors, we're taking that knowledge we're getting from seat sensors and also utilizing that for human-machine interface type of technology. With that, we're also taking some of the knowledge around printing fine lines, uh, silver conductive inks, into something that's stretchable. And with that, again, with the ability to take stretchable inks, have an ability to do biometric sensors, which I'll move over here. A lot of biometric sensors. We're, so we really see this market evolving and changing. Um, sensors, as you know, are becoming a key element to where the marketplace is heading. With Internet of Things, with the marketplace desiring, we have a real, we can satisfy it, because what we are able to do is, we have roll-to-roll -roll capability, in a and we have an ability to vertically integrate. So we have vertical integration. We also are one of the few companies in the world who do flexible as well as printed electronics. Okay. So with the ability to do flexible and printed electronics, we're, in, we're going to satisfy your need based on A, developing the material you need, but secondly, being able to provide you what is the right solution. Not forcing you into what we do, but the ability to provide you what we, that you want. What does your solution clearly want? Okay, so let's talk a little bit, one more second, if that's okay. So we see in Marketplace um, 2016, Ford introduced the Ford Fusion with an overhead console. In Mole Electronics, structural economics became a huge, huge buzzword. But the technology still has not really evolved as we hoped. So what we're really in a belief that this, this technology, where we can take a flexible circuit and put it behind to create a slider or buttons or switches, or even as an interconnect for LEDs, I think is that first step of bring, delivering on structural electronics wants and needs. So, and that will be the first step. And, and we're also continuing to work on, based on the fact that we have PDOT, ITO, and um, silver conductive inks, and also using etched copper as a potential solution for uh, meeting the needs of structural electronics. Okay. okay. All right. It's a really interesting range of products you've got. Thanks. And, and what does the next next few years have in store for Shell? So we see a really potential strong growth opportunity, both in flexible electronics and our printed electronics. As the market continues to take on the need for sensors, we see our, our business really taking off. What's also unique about where we are, we are Shell Doll, a flex company. We're part of the Flextronics company, which, um, and we have a real strong belief working with flex, we can deliver on all the things that the industry is wanting and needing, all right? Okay. Talk us through this. So this is a uh, LED interconnect. So this again, this is marketplace has a had a real need. Uh, they were using insulated metal core boards, and as they use the insulated metal board, LEDs and headlamps over time actually uh, degrade in in their power. So because the the LEDs start disconnecting from the insulated metal core. So we created a technology that's out of, a little more out of the box using flexible circuits that sustain the life of the LED. Now if you think about this, in the old days when you change your halogen bulb, you just went and changed the bulb. Now you're talking about a $2,300 replacement. So if you can sustain that life of your headlamp, you're in a much better position than you, uh, than you were in the past. So that's our objective. We worked with some automotive companies. We work to actually develop a new technology. And that's much we do. Here's another example. This is, again, talking a little about HMI, the concept of structural electronics. So this is an uh, opportunity. We work with some material companies to develop uh, using a um, PDOT type of solution. With that PDOT solution, we're able to develop a unique application uh, for delivering a capacitive touch sensors for, this is for Mitsubishi. Now that Mitsubishi has been acquired by Nissan, we're now seeing this business technology being adopted in other businesses. Okay. 
So this is a, a solar, thin film solar application. Uh, another thing that we provide and deliver on. Um, we're working with one of the large um, thin film solar companies and providing them a solution for that. We're also seeing LEDs, in which I'd love to have an example here, but uh, LEDs for controlled environmental agriculture. Okay. So we're seeing where, where you're needing an, an LED where you're creating unique lighting and providing unique lighting, you have an ability to, to especially based on the fact that we're in Minnesota, 12 months of the year being able to grow in a, in a facility, okay, in a controlled environment. Again, additional functionality, uh, providing flex circuits and print electronic circuitry to deliver what you as a, cons uh, you as a uh, customer of ours can supply or asking for, okay? And can you talk for a couple of minutes about your experience here at the ID Tech Expo, so, how you found it, the companies you've met? I've been doing it, I've been coming to the show for years now. So always find it a great opportunity where we have the ability to reach out to both our customers, our suppliers. This was probably even greater. We saw more and more customers here than we've had in the past. So we had a great opportunity to reach out, connect with them, and we believe after coming from leaving the show, we're going to have more possible business opportunities than we've had in the last. Okay. So as, as the show's evolved, you've evolved yes. with it. Yeah, we've evolved with it. Excellent. So, right. Thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. All the best in the future. Appreciate it.